It sounds like this is hugely important and a big problem, but maybe the results are just that kids learned how to write tickets. What's, what's happened? And then we'll probably need to hire some more kids as well if this is going to be a common occurrence. I mean, I think it speaks to the worst nightmare for a lot of trading firms and banks on the street that something like this could be vulnerable to a cyber attack. And, you know, there's always the potential, especially with a ransomware company, that, you know, sensitive consumer data could be exposed, that trading could be frozen. You just really don't know where to, to go with it. Mm, and we saw some, some innovation and also some perhaps uh, panic at some of these businesses then, according to our report. Lynn, uh, because some, so for some people this represented the worst of things going back to the 80s and 90s and manually writing tickets or manually inputting into things that look like early web uh, 1.0 uh, sort of devices to do trades. But for others, groups of coders getting together to quickly try and fill gaps and, draw, and write new code. I mean, th th it's quite a fascinating insight into the way that these businesses cope when tech lets them down. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe that's the new reality that we're in, that, you know, there is this vulnerability of the system, that it is fragile, but but, you know, the resilience is that coders are able to come together and try to solve it quickly. Um, but it's still, it's still a big unknown, and especially, I think, in this day and age where so much of market structure is interconnected and it's so complicated that, you know, a lot of people would say, we don't really understand it until it breaks down. Mm.